Hello, we are here, and today we are back in Skyrim, and we're going to be on a, a bit of a, a bit of a shorter video today. Uh, mainly just because uh, time. But I wanted to show off two mods that I've I've recently uploaded. One of them is a full release, and the other one is a work in progress, which has been shown in the video before. But I wanted to, but I. Basically, you can go inside the main area of it now, and obviously, and certain aspects of it are working a little bit differently. So I wanted to cover that. But the first one we're going to look at is the full released mod, which is Adventurer's Weapon Pack V2 Magic Edition. Now, this you can find this on Xbox and on PlayStation, and it's pretty simple. You know, the simple gist of it is is that it, it's a mod that adds in a bunch of new spells, a couple of new staffs, a new armor set, a couple of enchanted pieces of jewelry, which you can craft, but you have to be able to get into the College of Winterhold to be able to actually craft them, because the crafting station from can only be found in the College of Winterhold. So let's go and have a look, because to find this crafting station, you will need to go to the Hall of Attainment. The next floor. And on the right hand side, you will see basically what that guy what that guy's on. So I'm gonna have to kick him off. But what you're looking for is this the Mystic Enchanter. And me being pushed around. No 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 I'm getting on it. Get off. <laughs> but no you're looking for the Mystic Enchanter. And obviously there's only one tab and then and then you're gonna have a whole bunch of stuff. Now it will have you if you've got uh, creation club mods on running that also allow for like staffs to be crafted. So, like for example, we've got the Daedric staff of flames, Daedric staff of incineration, so on and so forth, kind of thing. You know. So, if you've got creation club mods on, or any that allow for crafting uh, staffs then some of them will end up on this Mystic Enchanter, just because of how the Mystic Enchanter is made. Uh, but, you know, so, but for example, we got Corrupted Staff, for example, so we got, you know, a Blast from Wabajack with an unpredictable bit, so basically it just works in the same way as the Wabajack. But as you can see, it does require some stuff. Uh, so you can see, we've got a Common Soul Gem, Unenchanted Conjuration Staff, and a Mist of Shergoroth. Which is just basically a a kind of a commonish book you can find within the game. You know, so all of these things, they're all going to have their own kind of sort of like... Let's see if I can find stuff that is actually what I built. You know, so you got Particle Beam Staff. A high energy beam that does 100 points per second targets on fire take extra damage. And as you can see there, it's Common Soul Gem, Unenchanted Destruction Staff, and Spell Tome, Hypernova. Which Hypernova is one of the new spells. You know... So you're gonna get a bunch of stuff. So as you can see here, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna have a look at some of these, you know. But you know, so you got spells like Armor of the Dragon Prince. As you can see, that needs a Grand Soul Gem. Doesn't have to necessarily have a soul in it. Uh, it's just as long as it's a, it's the Soul Gem, then you're fine. But as you can see, it needs a Soul Gem. It needs a Ruined Book. Now, if, if I can remember correctly, I set up all the all of these, uh, basically all of the recipes for the spell tomes, all at least need at least some form of soul gem and a ruined book. They all follow that same principle. It's only it's when you get to a couple of different items where things will be a little bit different. So, for example, this needs yeah, it needs a some a common soul gem and a ruined book. The same as any others, but it also requires a Daedric Battle Axe and a Void Salts. You know, so there will be slight variations. <laughs> and as you can you know, you got uh, if I can remember, there's about 28, 29 spells. You know, so you, you know you got a, you know you got a nice fair amount of spells in here. Now, so let's say you, yeah, let's say you, you know you're not you're not for crafting stuff. You know, let's just say you just rather than buy it because you got so much money. You, you don't know what to do with it. Well, in the instance of that, if that is the case, then all you need to do is find 
end fear here. So yeah, so it's a, if if you're not up for crafting it and you want to buy them, you can buy all. The, you can buy you can buy the spell tomes. So you can buy basically pretty much basically most of the items. So you can buy the corrupted staff. You can buy the particle beam staff and staff of the healing warden. So. And then if you go to the apparel, you do have some of the new stuff. So that you got the mystic armor here, as well as some enchanted rings. Now the enchanted rings and the armor, you can't craft them. You have to buy them. And then obviously if you go down to spell tomes, you got all the spell tomes. So you can buy everything off of Enver. The spell tomes and the staffs can be crafted at the Mystic Enchanter. Uh, but if you want to try your luck, if you know, if you feel like, you know, say you don't have the materials to do crafting and you don't have a lot of money. Well, not to worry because all of the items, all the spell tomes, enchanted jewelry, staffs and the armor have all been added into randomized loot. So you, there's a chance that you will bump into it when exploring dungeons, when exploring caves, uh, old catacombs, and ancient Nordic ruins, and Rara ruins, and this and that and the other, you know, just generally exploring around. You will get a chance to find these items, uh, which in the description it does state at what point they start appearing. But right, so I'm going to buy just a couple of things. You know, just to show off a couple of bits and pieces here and there. I'm not going to show you everything. And so, yeah, I'll be back once I've picked what I want to show you. Alright, so here we are. And as you can see, we have the Mystic Armour. Now, the Mystic Armour itself has no armour typing. It, it doesn't have an armour typing and it doesn't have an armour rating. But that doesn't mean that it doesn't offer protection. So, for example, the Mystic Armor. Yeah, as you can see, it's got no armor typing and it has no armor rating. It can't be improved because there is no armor rating to improve in the first place. But, you can see the enchantment for the Mystic Armor for itself. It's like, you know, 50% fire resistance. 20% uh, less cost for destruction spells. Yeah, uh, your magic has increased. Your health regeneration is faster, and you get eight points of armor rating. And the boots and the gauntlets do stuff that are very are fairly similar, with a couple of ch slight alterations here and there. But you know, all in all, wear these three pieces of armor, and all in all, you will get 240 points of armor rating just from these three pieces of armor so that can, you know so you know it's a pretty good armor you know you get some good protection from it from this one but right so oh, you, know, you know so there you go that's the mystic armor like me, huh? then let's have a look at some of the other stuff that we i've also decided to get so for example we've got ourselves the stone golem and loop, and there he, and instantly just sat on his arse. You're good there, matey. You're gonna get up, and oh, oh, he's getting up, and he, and he's up. As you can see, he's a bit of a big boy. <laughs> he's a bit of a, he's a bit, he's a bit of a large boy. This one. And we also actually have this staff, which is the yes. particle beam staff, and as you can see, particle beam. That sets things on fire, because we love fire here. Fire! On to the next spill we're going to have a look at, which we are going to have a look at, Sword of Tizernak. Which hopefully this isn't going to cause any problems, because trying to set this one up sometimes was a bit of a pain in the ass for some reason, I'm not too sure why. Uh, actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm actually going to stop recording here, because if, if my game crashes, because my game is shit, uh, are you going to lose the recording? So I'll be back in a second. Okay, we're back. <laughs> right, just have another recording, just in case this all goes to shit. And we yeah. And there we go. Okay, we're all good. So what this does, it gives you a bound weapon. 
you know, standard band weapon, but also shroud you in a shock cloak. That does a bit of damage to enemies when they get a bit nearer to you. Bada bing, bada boom. And, you know, say, you know, you finished your business, you don't what you need to do, you don't need to spell on anymore. All you gotta do is just, obviously, just sheep the sword. And the shock cloak disappears as well, so you don't have to wait for the shock cloak to disappear. Because as soon as you see the sword, that's it. Shock cloak disappears as well. So the last one we got is the armor of the Dragon Prince. Which I've got to and pray that this doesn't cause the game to crash. Because my game's being a bit funny at the moment. So let's just hope and pray. There you go. Got armor of the Dragon Prince. So we got another bound weapon based one. But it actually fires a bit of lightning as well. So you get a bit of light, you get to fire a bit of lightning, hit them with a sword. Actually, maybe maybe actually hitting them with a the lightning is just my Oh, I don't know. It might just be my racial trait, possibly. But you know, but you get all you get all this protection, so you get you get armor protection, you get increased in strength and buffs and Way to one-handed and damage resistance, you get fire cloak, storm cloak, frost cloak. You get a whole load of stuff with this one. And when you've had enough of looking like this and you want to look back to normal, the same as the previous one. The the shape the weapon. And there you go. Deactivates. And then when you want to do it again, you just reactivate it by basically casting the spell. Bada bing bada boom. Lovely jubbly. But yeah, so that's it for this one. So we are going to move on from this one and into mod number two. But first, before we do, this again was Adventurous Weapon Pack V2 Magic Edition. And on the Xbox, it's basically the same thing. It's Adventurous Weapon Pack, but Magic Edition. There's no V2 in it because differential from Xbox and, P and PlayStation Port. But you can download this for Xbox and you can download this for PlayStation. But right, that's it for Mod 2. You will find a link in the description below. I am really bad at doing these videos lately. I have no idea why. Just please shoot me. But yeah, there will be a link in the description below to both ports of the mod. If you want to try that for yourself. So right, now we can finally move on to Mod number 2. Which did feature in a video not too long ago as the sort of a, like a... Sort of a sneak peek. Uh, so, I'm, sure you should be naked. I'm not naked. Look at me, I've got clothes on. Shut up. Yes. But anyway, so mod number two, it did feature the previous before, but I've done some a little bit of work on it, made some change, a couple of small alterations to it, as there were some issues with it. Uh, but hopefully I've got it into a bit more of a working state. So let's go and have a look at mod number two, which brought that we need to go to Riverwood. Alright then, here we are for mod number two, which, if you watched a video of mine uh, a few weeks ago, uh, there would, you wouldn't might know about a mod called The House That Time Built. So, it is now currently in the work in progress section. So you can actually download it yourself to have a look at it if you would like to. And you can also leave a bit of feedback on it because, you know, feedback never hurts. Unless it's harmful, then it does hurt. <laughs> but anyway, so we've, I've sorted out a few bits and pieces of it and I've allowed, basically I've now connected the doors that lead from one area to another area so you can actually have a look at the actual house itself. But the way that you get there has, but, but hasn't changed at the same time. And this ring will basically explain all. So we, I'm going to grab this, we're going to go outside, and then I'm going to explain what happens. Alright, so the changes have that been made. So originally, the idea was that you would have a teleport spell that you could learn to teleport you to this, to basically where the house is. But I was having some issues with with that on the premise of because you had to have the ESP for the house and an ESP also for the actual teleport spell 
run at the same time. But the ESP for the teleport spell was sent to me by Cyan49, and obviously I don't want to go uploading that and making that public for something that Cyan has made, and I haven't actually got permission to actually upload and publish to the public. So obviously I had to make an alternative work out an alternative it took me ages to fucking fix the issue by trying to re with removing stuff and getting it to actually properly work and but i eventually did it and so now we have a different but also the same kind of method to how you get there it's the same method because you are teleporting but it's different because the teleportation works a little bit differently so you might realize that i did pick up a ring from within the sleeping giant inn called the traverse ring so traverse to the forgotten schism so what you're going to do is you're going to put this ring on now this this works very similar into the same ways as the wooden mask does when in labyrinthian to get to the dragon priest masks and stuff like that it works off the same script same everything so you're going to put this on and this is going to take us to the forgotten schism. Uh, right, and here we are in the forgotten schism. I haven't figured out the um, thing to do with uh, getting your followers here just yet. I still haven't figured that out, uh, so I'll have to figure that out somehow. Uh, now, if whilst you're in this part of the actual player space you want to keep the ring on because if you take it off in the, the forgotten schism you will be teleported back to skyrim and you'll be placed just outside of white run which i'll show you later on at the end uh so yeah so we're gonna go so we're gonna head this part hasn't really changed all that much and you know Neither has the Priory or the uh, house over here. So this part of it hasn't changed or anything like that just yet. But, you know, I'll give you a little show around just in case if you didn't see the previous video. You know, so, you know, you got, we got Sheba stuck in a wall for some, for some reason. I don't know why. But, uh, what the hell? Ooh. Okay, well, I need to figure something out. Okay, that's a... What? what, what? Why am I able to get under the ground there? Whoop. Okay, well, I definitely need to... Have all to say worth the listening. Okay, that... <laughs> lucky enough, this is a work in progress mod. <laughs> okay, so I need to do something there. Something's gone a bit funny there. But again, work in progress mod. Invisible floor. Speed. Oh, there you go. There you go. Floating horse. So, yeah. So, obviously, that kind of, those kind of problems will always be fixed by the final release. Luckily. So, you ain't gonna worry about that too much. But yeah, so, you know, so you're gonna have this space here, you're gonna have a little stable house here, and they got a nice little stable house there. Uh, if you wanna have a, if you wanna see what it looks like inside the stable house and the priory, which is this building just over here, uh, I will leave a link in the description below to the previous video, where I've shown this off. Uh, but also, again, as I mentioned in there, some of the stuff may be subject to change. You know, so I might, you know, so I might put a bit more stuff up here, do some other bits and pieces around here. The layout in here might also change slightly a little bit. There might be less bush, <laughs> for example. You know, just like little tiny things like that. But right. So another thing I do want to point out about the Traverse Ring is... If you put it on to get to the Forgotten Schism, you need to put it on outside. You can't put it on when you're inside, say, a cave or a dun, you know, any kind of cave or uh, Nordic ruin or building or anything like that. Any kind of interior, interior space. Otherwise, the actual effect of the ring does not work. You, so you have to do it whilst you're outside. So, you know, if you try to put it on when you're in the sleeping giant in, it won't work. But as soon as you're outside the sleeping giant in and put it on, then it will work. But right, so let, 
let's get on to the crux of this show off, which is actually being able to actually get inside the main house here, which is otherwise is known as the Eternal Hall. So let's go and have a look inside the Eternal Hall. All right, and here we are inside the Eternal Hall. As you can see, we got a massive gold dragon statue. Um, you know, so you got a oh, nice, very fancy looking house. Very fancy. Then we got here, come up here. Got some big diverse statues, but also nice big fancy dining table. So, ooh, well, we we got some fresh roasted ox. Now, obviously, you're, in the ways of like coloration and lighting, it might look a little bit different in your game compared to mine. Uh, mine only looks like this because of some other mods I've got running. So, it might not be as bright and as vibrant in your game. It just depends on what lighting mods you're using, really. So, if we go up here, so if we look to the left, for example. So, we've got another room here that we can go in. You know, we could go, so this is going to end up turning up to be the kitchen. Uh, but as you, but obviously as you can see, it's not fully complete just yet. Uh, still, this is still a work in progress room. But there you go, my very you, know, you got all the, you got all your barrels, you know, your normal cupboards, your storage. You have got some large meat barrels. Of course, you can't really do anything with them, but they're there for aesthetics, I suppose. But you know, but for example, if you come up to the this the massive cooking spit. There you go, and this is where obviously you make all your food. Bada bing, bada boom, lovely. Uh, so yeah, the kitchen itself is still a bit of a work. It's still not finished just yet. There are some rooms that are finished and other rooms that aren't quite finished just yet. So for example, there is actually a little room behind this wall, but this room is, but unfortunately, it's not finished yet. So, you know, but it's, as you can see, under construction. So. And as of at the moment, you will bump into a whole bunch of these walls around the place. Uh, obviously, over time, they will be removed when each, when certain areas of the house are done. So if we come up to here, next see over here, we got our grand library. Big, funky library. Again, still not fully finished just yet. As you can see, you know, obviously I've got to like lay out the tables a bit, decorating them out a little bit. Might do a little bit, possibly, possibly a little bit more decoration in here. I'm not totally sure just yet. But as you can see, we've got another under construction wall on this side, another under construction wall on this side. You know, but being a boom. But you know, just got to decorate out the tables, maybe. Do something else in here and don't know yet or just decorate tables and then say that's it <laughs> for that and then we're going to come to what it might be just the pièce de la résistance of the basic here i mean i do have to fix the lighting a little bit i think you know the lighting still needs a bit of need, needs a little bit of fixing but that's easy to do but yeah you got your you got your own big ouch swimming pool so yeah lighting still needs a little bit of tweaking as well as you know you've got another construction wall so this gives you a bit of an idea how big this place is going to be because there's another there's another construction wall there's another under construction wall and if we come down here we have another under construction wall so this gives you a bit of an idea how big this place may end up being but right, but yeah, in in here you just you just got your big ass swimming pool, big funky swimming pool, yeah. So you got your big ass swimming pool, and in certain places around here you should have just simple stuff like this. So if if you want, you can just take a seat down by the pool and just relax. Lovely. But yeah, so this is basically. The house that time built, work in progress. Uh, but I will leave a link in the description below if you want to have a look at it yourself. Just you know, get a bit more of a close up, sort of what look into the actual thing yourself, and just have a little sneak peek around the place. You no, know, blah 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 blah. Have a bit of you know, just have a little sneak peek. Bada bing, bada boom. 
But also in the description below, you will find a link to my Discord where you can do a multitude of things. You can leave me mod suggestions for future videos. You can leave me feedback on mods that you've played of mine, or maybe you can leave, you know, happy to leave me some feedback on this mod, on the house that time built, or maybe things that you can think, oh, I reckon the house could do with that, or maybe the house could do with that. You know, a little bit of feedback on there. You can also keep up to date with mods that I've got currently in the works that will be coming out in the, in, in the future. You know, bada bing, bada boom. Or just ask me general questions about modding. But also, there are also other modders on my Discord who you can also ask those questions too, such as Be Very of A. Is we got be we got be very we got be very of A on the Discord. We have Oral Call J on the Discord, Cyan Forty Nine on the Discord. You know, you got a few other modders on there as well. So if I don't know the answer, maybe one of them will. But right, so that's going to be it for this video. Yeah, it's slightly a bit short, a bit of a different kind of video, you know, but time, bit of a pressing issue at the moment, currently at, at this present moment of time, quite literally. But right, but I hope you enjoyed this video, so if you did, maybe please remember to leave a like, and why not subscribe to the channel, and check out what other videos I've done in Skyrim, and other shite. <laughs> and yeah, again, links, there will be links to the, to the mods down below, as well as a link to my Discord. Bada bing, bada boom, bada bosh. But right, that's it for me. It's time for me to get out of here. So until next time, I'll see you all later.